Hi guys, this is Mary, and you're watching Cards TV. And I told you I was going to show you uh, the cuts from the storybook cartridge that I used to make the little note cards and also the top piece for the box. So when I come back, I'm going to show you exactly what I used for this. If you'll turn to page 29 in the storybook cartridge, you'll see the letter B, and there's many different ways to cut it. I use the one called Shorty Holes to cut the B for the top of the box and also for the little card. The B on the box was cut at an inch and a half and the B on the little card was cut at an inch and a quarter and I used Shorty Holes. And for the scallop, let's see what page that's on. Did I write that down? Yep, yeah, page 49 over to that real quick. I'm all thumbs today guys. Okay, here's the scallop. It's on the page with the letter V and the butterfly and it's right over here under accent blackout and you'll want to hit shift to get to this scallop. For the top of the box, the scallop was cut at three inches and for the card, the scallop was cut at two inches. And I don't know if you can see this, but I did run it through the cuddle bug using the Swiss dots folder just to give it some more dimension. For the little card, you want to cut your card stock at three inches by six inches, score it at three inches, and fold it in half. And then for your uh, little pink mat, which has also been run through the cuddle bug Swiss dots folder, I cut it by two and three quarters by two and three quarters and then the black and white I cut it an inch and a half by two and three quarters and just ran some white ribbon around there and then attached my oval and the B with some foam mounting tape. Very simple. And the B, this is going to be a set for my daughter and her last name starts with B so that's why I put the B on there. And I wanted to tell you, too, about the box lid. Uh, I wrapped the ribbons around. I just cut two pieces, wrapped it around, and then secured it on the inside. And I did cover the inside to hide the end of the ribbons. But that's super simple. Now, for the envelope for the little card, you won't find this measurement on your scoreboard. But... If you reach down under here, just pull this out for your envelope, flip it over, and we're going to slide it right up here in this corner. For a 3x3 three three envelope, you're going to need a square 5 inches by 5 inches. And like I said, you won't find the measurement on here. This one I had to just figure out. Also, I don't know that you want to mail these. Uh, a lady in the UK Sandy, I believe, told me that they can't mail something this size. And this note card is more like what you want to stick in with a gift or something. Just a little personal note card. But I do make these out of plain copy paper. I used white, but you can get it in lots of colors. Pastels and then a little bit darker colors if you want to coordinate with your card. But this is the envelope for the 3x3 card. You need a 5x5 five five square of copy paper and we're going to put it right here and we're going to score it at an inch and seven eighths on all four sides and I love this scoreboard because it does have eighth of an inch marks and you want to use a very light hand because you don't want to tear your copy paper and just keep turning it and scoring at an inch and seven eighths on all, all four sides. And what you'll end up with, let me reach over here and get this one. When you've done that, you want to go to each of the corners where they intersect and you want to cut that little triangle out. And then just fold in your sides, fold up your bottom, and you've got your little envelope. Just a really cute little envelope. But I hope that helps, guys, with your uh, making little gifts for people. 
and this is a really neat one. I just love it. I can't wait to give this to my daughter. She doesn't know that I've made it, and I'm anxious to see what her reaction is to it. I'm still working on this other one I made the other day. Uh, I've decided to put a Prima flower on it, and I put a little brad in the center. And the cards for this one aren't going to have the B on them. I'm just putting some ribbon in, tying it in a knot. And I think that'll be really cute. But you guys have fun today. And if you get to make some of these little boxes, make one for yourself as well as one to give away. Because they're lots of fun. And then you've always got little note cards on hand to tuck in with your gifts or just to give to somebody just to let them know you're thinking about them and say hi. Thanks for coming by, guys. Hope to see you again really soon with another card. Bye now.